and welcome to the second tutorial of the week. Uh, you guys have already done the converting percents, decimals, and fractions tutorial. So next we're going to move on to the using percents and decimals tutorial. And this deals with adding taxes, calculating how much tax you're paying, looking at discounts, and also could be applied to increases and decreases in your wages. So again, this is all stuff that we've already used quite a bit this year, and this is a review of this material getting ready for the next unit as well as preparing you for the exam. So moving on from here. So first step, looking back at what we just did, you're going to be converting. To convert a percent to a decimal, you divide it by 100. So again, if I had a percent, say I was converting 7.5% and I wanted to convert that to a decimal, I would divide that by 100, and I would end up with 0 0.075 as a decimal. Now, you do this in order to do calculations, and you will almost always do this. Otherwise, your other choice is to do cross multiplication, and that involves a few more steps and a much better chance that you're going to do something something's going to go wrong and you're going to encounter a problem. So, first thing, put it in the simplest terms, you want to find the percent of a number. Find a percent of a number, you convert the percent into a decimal, and then you multiply the, num the decimal by the number. So, for example, if I wanted to find 60% of 448, I would have 60% divided by 100 will give me 0 0.6. All right, that's our number as a decimal. So my second step is to multiply the decimal by the number. So 448 is my number times 0 0.6 equals. And we'll just pull up my calculator here. Make sure you can see this, 448 times 0.6 equals 268.8. So my answer will be 268.8. That's pretty straightforward. Now notice, I st my starting number was 448. My final number was 268.8. If the percent is less than 100%, so this is less than 100, our answer will be smaller than the original number. So 600, or sorry, 268.8 is smaller than 448. But what if our percent is over 100%? Right? People get confused by this. It's going to be basically the same thing. So say I want to find 250% of 90. Same process again. I go 250. Whoops. And of course, everybody makes a mistake now and then. 250 divided by 100 will equal 2.5. So 250% as a decimal is 2.5. So then I'm going to go 90 times 2.5 equals, and again, bring up my calculus, oops, 2.5. Oh, I'm going to have to open my calculator again. Open up my calculator, 90 times 2.5 equals 225. So my answer is going to be 225. So again, if the percent is more than 100, our answer is going to be bigger than our original number. So here we go. Our percent is 250%. Our original number is 90. So our final answer is greater. 222 is bigger than 90. So 
when you're adding and subtracting the percentages, there's two ways of doing it. Um, when you're adding percentages, you're adding it to things like when you're getting a raise, which is also known as a wage increase, a surcharge, which you'll see sometimes when you're buying something, they'll charge you extra for shipping or handling. You'll hear that a lot on TV, on TV advertisements, or if you're buying stuff online. Same with service fees, they'll charge you a handling fee, or taxes. And hey, we're Canadian, so we pay taxes on just about everything. We're going to go over both ways. I would recommend that you pick one way and stick with it. Um, there's also two ways that you can subtract percentages from a number, and we're going to go over both again. So first of all, let's talk about it in terms of taxes. In BC, we have two kinds of tax. We have the GST, which stands for Goods and Services Tax, and you should memorize that. It does show up as a question on the exam periodically. And Provincial Sales Tax, PST. GST is 5%, the PST is 7%. In other provinces, the taxes will be different. And taxes can also be different in different First Nations communities. Some places do charge PST, some places charge GST, some don't. And other bands actually have what's called a band sales tax or a council sales tax that they charge instead of either tax. So, first of all, Let's add taxes to your purchase. Again, first thing you always have to do when you're dealing with a percent, convert it into a decimal. So if my PST is 7%, so I'm going to go 7 divided by 100 equals 0 0.07, and 5 divided by 100 equals 0 0.05. So what we're then going to do is we're going to multiply the price by the GST and the PST. We're going to do that separately to figure out the taxes. And then we're going to add together the original price and both the taxes to get our final price. So if you want to buy a new winter coat for $88, how much will you pay after taxes? Well, we have my $88. And we're going to multiply that by 0 0.07. And that's going to give us my PST. And then my GST is going to be 88 times 0 0.05. So again, I'm going to bring up my calculator to do this. 88 times 0 0.07 equals 6.16 and 88 times 0 0.05 equals 4.4. Now remember we're dealing with cash here so 4.4 is the same as $4.40. So I can add these up now, and I'll get 6 and 5 and 10. So there's $10 and 56 cents in taxes. And so to that, I'm going to add the price of my coat, which was originally $88. So my final price on my coat after tax is going to be $98.56. So again, your steps, you figure out what your PST is, you figure out your GST, you add together to find out the total tax. And then you add the original price, and you get your grand total at the end. So we can do the same basic thing if you're dealing